Well, folks, it seems like we have another case of somebody being totally shocked that a leopard would eat their face after they voted for the leopards eating people's faces party. This time, it is a Republican lawmaker from Missouri named Chris Sander, who happens to be a gay man. And he's hoping that his Republican colleagues will support his effort to revise their state's constitution, which currently defines marriage as a union between one man and and one woman. And I'm assuming he's doing this because in the event the Supreme Court overturns Obergefell v. Hodges, he wants to make sure that his marriage doesn't automatically get destroyed. Now, since marriage equality currently is already legal in Missouri, you'd think that this wouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, but it is because Sander has now faced not one, but two censure votes in a month by his own party, all because he dared to try to amend the state's constitution to remove this bigoted language. As LGBTQ Nation reports, State Representative Chris Sander, Republican who represents Jackson County, faced a censure vote for the second time in a month because he has been vying to amend the state constitution's definition of marriage to a union of, quote, two individuals rather than a man and a woman. Quote, the mere fact that you want to change the wording from one man and one woman to two individuals is an abomination to mankind and to God himself, said Teresa McBride, vice chair of the Jackson County Republican Party in an email obtained by the Kansas City Star. The term two individuals could be defined and interpreted in many different ways and open the door for pedophiles to legally rape and physically harm children. That is disgusting and promoting an agenda as such is an abomination to our country. Yeah, so that's how they reacted to the prospect of their own colleague being equal under their state's constitution. As if being against their own colleague's civil rights wasn't bad enough, they have to take it a step further and suggest that he supports pedophilia as well. Republicans are such lovely people, aren't they? Listen, I have the perfect compromise, so everyone is happy. Why don't we change the language to to adult individuals so that way there's no confusion about who this gay man thinks should be able to legally marry in his state. And while you're at it, you can legally prohibit marriages to anyone under 18 because according to the Missouri Bar, there are various loopholes that allow child marriages in the state of Missouri. A child as young as 15 can get married if they obtain parental consent and children younger than 15 can even get married if they obtain a court order. So you can simultaneously outlaw child marriage while legalizing same-sex marriages and everyone's happy in theory, right? Well, of course not, because these Republicans don't actually give a shit about child marriage or pedophilia. They are needlessly slandering their own colleague because they hate that he's delusional enough to think that he can be part of their club, that he's an equal to them. No, he's not an equal. He's inferior to them. And the idea that he even thinks that this is a possibility, that they would amend the state's constitution to appease a degenerate like him is obviously outrageous to them. Now, LGBTQ Nation continues, the Jackson County GOP voted in February not to censure Sander after Jackson County GOP committee member Dave Thomas proposed a resolution to do so. Thomas, a missionary at the International House of Prayer in Grandview, describes himself as a passionate lover of God and an advocate for government on earth as it is in heaven. Sounds very reasonable, Thomas claims. Uh, only the nations who believe Jesus is Lord are truly blessed that this is <laughs> this is an actual official for the GOP. At the time, the Jackson County GOP chair, Mark Anthony Jones, called the resolution dead on arrival and said censuring was not within the committee's scope of duties. According to Sander, following that first failed censure vote, party members agreed to form a committee to consider censuring Republican lawmaker or other punitive options in the future. The second resolution to censure Sander, also put forth by Thomas, was voted down on Monday. In a text to the Kansas City Star, Sander said the committee does not represent the beliefs of the majority of the party. Mm, are you sure about that? Because it seems to me like the entire party, both at the state and federal level, is in lockstep on this particular issue. It seems like there's no disagreement. It seems like you're the only one 
who disagrees. You are in the minority, unfortunately for you. Now, the votes to censure him failed, but the same committee agreed to a petition that individual members can sign to voice their disapproval, I guess, with this degeneracy that he's promoting. And that's not all. Committee member Dave Thomas, no, not the founder of Wendy's, the evangelical fuckface referenced in the article, filed a different petition to let any committee member censure someone for supporting marriage equality. So they failed here, but they're trying other ways to basically condemn their own colleague because he dared to ask for civil rights that are equal to his straight peers. Now, with that being said, I looked up Chris Sander, and he seems like a pretty standard Republican, specifically one of those empty suits who derived their entire political identities from Trump. He even put a MAGA hat on his campaign sign, which is uh, embarrassing and pathetic to me. But on his website's bio, he describes himself as a MAGA Republican who supports low taxes and small government, as well as the Second Amendment, and he's also against illegal immigration, but he also describes himself as a small business owner. So this seems to me like a pretty classic case of somebody putting their class interests above their own human dignity. And look, I get it. LGBTQ plus people can be capitalist xenophobes like everyone else, but to still associate yourself with a party who's offended by your very existence, to me, that just seems really wrong. It seems like it's against your own self-interest. I mean, the party has made it abundantly clear for decades now that they hate people like Chris Sander. And especially over the last year, they've made hating LGBTQ plus people their number one priority, but he still won't take the hint. So, I mean, I'm sorry that they're treating him this way. I think it's genuinely disgusting and I respect what he's trying to do here. But honestly, what did he expect? It's one of those instances where I have to be a prick and tell you, if you play with fire, you're going to get burned. And in this situation, if you caucus with Republicans, you're going to get slandered, specifically as a groomer or a pedophile or both, because that's what they do. They hate you. And anything that they can do to delegitimize you is what they're going to do. So, Chris, leave the party. Like, I'm not saying that every single LGBTQ plus person in the country has to swear fealty to Democrats, but at least become an independent at a minimum. Because, I mean, if this party doesn't respect your basic human rights, then you should respect yourself enough to tell them to go fuck themselves. Up yours. Up yours. Up yours. Sons of bitches. 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 Woke moralists. Woke moralists. Woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.